Let's take a look at the card that allows us to win, Treasure Hunt. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Then put all cards revealed this way into your hand. Well, if the whole deck is nothing but these four cards, land cards, and one of your win conditions, and I say win conditions, you don't run both of these at the same time, you pick one. Uh, Wedge goes over that really well. But then what I did is I used both of these because one of these is in my sideboard. So normally I'll start with Seismic Assault, do a burn win condition, and they go, oh, well, he's going to burn me. So they'll bring out like Ley Line. So then I sight out this win condition for the other win condition and 14 other lands because the deck's based off of lands and that's how we win. So all that is is casting Treasure Hunt to fill your hand up, to find your win condition, and to have your hand full for your win condition. Ways we keep stuff in our hand. That's where we get in the choice lands. Need a reliquary tower? Just you know, have no maximum hand size. Everything you draw, you get to keep. And that allows that's the setup for this. Treasure hunt, draw a whole bunch of lands, play more treasure hunts, till you find seismic assault, discard your hand, and you win. When you're going with the zombie win side, then we pull in another land. Contested War Zone. I normally recommend saving this for the turn you're attacking because if for some odd reason your opponent deals damage to you, they get this card and you can't use it. But what this is is discard any two cards and you put zombies into play. Do that at the end of your opponent's end step so they can't remove your stuff. And I normally get like 14 2 2 or plus zombies out at a time. Play this. One tap, all attacking creatures get plus one, plus zero. So you've turned your army of 14 2-2 two, two zombie creatures into 3-2 two zombie creatures. And you swing and win. The only other change that I've really made to this deck, with the addition of a lot of let me see your hand and get rid of things, like Thought Seizes on turn one, when you only have one treasure hunt in hand and they discard it, and now you're just trying to top deck a treasure hunt, that's no fun. Um, the scry off a of mulligan is really helpful. And then the only other land that I threw in there is Holomar Depths because it allows you to at least get a further glimpse into what's in the future and hopefully set up a different treasure hunt if you blow out your opponent first game and then they go, oh, well, I haven't seen this deck in a while or I just can't believe I lost by lands. And then first turn a second game, they thought sees you and you're done. That, that's pretty much the basis of the deck. Um, Monosaurus goes over how to play it in depth really well. I'll do a link to that in the bottom. I also have a link to my setup on this one with a description on how to play the deck on uh, tappedout.com or .net, whichever one it is. And yeah, that's pretty much the basis of this deck.